And this Black History Month Cakes News spoke to a black-owned business. That's right. An 87 and Company is a barbershop that has been in existence now since 2018. And new this morning, Cameron Brewer spoke with the barber and learned just how successful the business continues to be. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Josh and Alicia. Jeremy Slappy says when he first opened the doors to his shop, he gave free haircuts to anyone who brought five clients to him. Now, while the, hair the haircuts aren't free anymore, Slappy is still offering high quality cuts as a part of his successful business, thanks to his low customers. Jermise Slappy has served in other roles prior to becoming a barber. He is an Army veteran, wounded at war, and Purple Heart recipient. After leaving the military, he decided to explore other options, such as nursing school. Being a nurse is more personable, but I felt like I needed to, I was more of a sit down and talk to people and connect with people type of person. He lived in Georgia, Louisiana, as well as Colorado, before moving to North Dakota, where he made a decision that led to cosmetology. I couldn't find anybody to cut my son's hair, so, which is the first time that ever happened to me wherever I lived. And uh, my dad suggested that I go to barber school. Slappy knows all about the creativity needed for cutting ethnic hair. As it comes in all textures, whether it be straight, whether it's coarse or loose and curly or tight and curly. He enrolled in barber school in 2017 and then opened 87 and Company Barber Studio one year later. He specializes in cutting not only African-American hair, but all ethnicities. He says when cutting hair, there's something he noticed all clientele enjoy. Fades are, are very, very popular now. So, and with all ethnicities, whether it be white, black, or Hispanic, native, or Asian, is, is, uh, or other, it's, Fades are, are very popular. Customers like Dre Parks experienced challenges when finding barbers to fit his need for a haircut. I can't remember the place that I got my first haircut, but when I got there, they told my mom that they didn't know how to cut ethnic hair. So um, they said that they could give it a shot and just kind of go from there. After finding Slappy, Parks has been a returning customer and encourages others to support his business. Nice to, to come in here and, and be able to relate with somebody. Even when I first came here, you know, like I didn't know him, he didn't know me. Parks is a car salesman and says he needs to reflect his best impression when trying to land a sale. This is definitely image and, and being clean and well spoken and and you know knowing you know what you need to do to to earn somebody's trust, especially buying a vehicle. Jermis does have open slots for getting that fade haircut. To learn more, visit kxnet.com. Yeah, I mean everybody uh Loves the fade. I, when you get a fresh fade and the short on the side, that just, mm -hmm. you look pretty sharp. Yeah, Josh, I think we should get one. Yeah, <laughs> we should. Go in, get a, right. a, a double haircut. Maybe I'll join you. I get that fade in the back. There you go. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun, but yeah. I, I think you passed on getting the KX in the back of your head. There, Cameron. I, you know, I thought about it, but I'm still considering <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, very cool story. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, filling that need and helping so many people. And his backstory yeah. is yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah I love it. Thank you, Cameron.